you sometimes wonder what is there beyond this planet Earth? I know I look at the stars very often and I keep wondering, is there something beyond the veil? I grew up believing in magic. And this is something that I firmly believe is there. I believe that there is a world much bigger beyond this world that we know right now. And that is why I have this program, Light On. And today on my show, I have with me a very special guest. I would like to welcome Octavia Vasi. She is from Romania, currently staying in Berlin, and she channels the ninth dimension beings called Pleiadians. You wonder what they are? Hmm. That's what we're going to explore and find out. Octavia Vasi has a master's degree in clinical hypnotherapy and cognitive behavioral psychotherapy, but she prefers to be called a channeler. Welcome to the show, Octavia. Hi, Sheila. I'm very, very happy to be here and to be able to share some really nice information with you today. And mm -hmm. yes, I am a cognitive behavior psychotherapist, and this is actually my main job. So mm -hmm. I used to work as a, as a psychotherapist until quite recently. And then suddenly, because people knew that I also channel, because yeah. I have started to share the Pleiadian transmissions, some of my clients just asked me if I feel like channeling for them. And this is how I actually started to channel. And this is how I've changed my work completely. Because okay. then more and more people came and more and more people asked me to channel. So suddenly it just happened quite overnight that instead of doing psychotherapy, I started to channel for them, which is, which is completely lovely. I, I truly enjoy to do so. Okay. So, uh, Octavia, when you say you channel, uh, I don't know how many of our viewers are familiar with what it is. I know there, there is a, a quite a bunch of people who know what channeling is and what Pleiadians are, but there are quite a few people who also do not know what they are. So could you just tell us a little more about the 3D world, 5D, 7D, and the 9D dimension? So firstly, when we refer to channeling, yeah say that and I think channeling doesn't really have a certain definition at the moment though I've heard that there are studies going on in this way so hopefully in in some years from now we are going to have a fixed definition of what channeling means but for now I would say that to channel means to have a telepathic connection with another being in the universe and these beings can be light beings, like the ones who my channel, because they are part of the nine dimension, so they don't have a physical body. Okay. But there can be also extraterrestrial beings. And mostly when we refer to the Pleiadians, I think that we, we think a lot about them as being extraterrestrials, as having a physical body. And this happens because actually they function in the sixth, in the seventh, in the eighth dimension. So the ones whom I channel frequently, they are light beings, they are a collective, they are a group of light beings. But the other ones, they have actually a physical body and they interact quite a lot with the earth plane at the moment. So mm -hmm. when I channel, what I actually do is to have this telepathic connection with a certain group and this group can be part of the ninth dimension or can be part of the sixth or the seventh dimension. It stays in the information that I want to get from them. There are people who sometimes are very interested in, interested in developing new technologies for Earth. And then I, usually in this situation, I channel the sixth and the seventh dimension because okay. they are more close to Earth. They can relate in a different way to the Earth plane and they can actually provide that information that we, we really need here. And usually when I channel for people who want to be in their own uh, process, they want to develop themselves, to open up their chakras, their energy centers, then I will channel the nine dimension. Okay. Because the light beings are much more aware of what happens in our energetical body and they love to interact with our energy field. Okay. And also when I refer to different dimensions, 
the Pleiadian Collective tries to make us aware that all these dimensions that they are referring to, they exist within us. And I will say that this is a very important information because most of the time we are so focused on what happens in the outside world. And we keep our focus there, but we actually lose the idea, we lose our focus on how we create this reality. And the Pleiadian Collective says that everything happens actually inside. Everything is formed inside and all of the outside reality is actually a projection of what happens within ourselves. So they also say that all these dimensions, they exist within ourselves and we can have access to all kinds of information from all the dimensions and there are 12 dimensions okay. within going, going through our inner journeys. And they love to guide us in this way. They love to provide all the necessary support for us to have access to whatever information we want to, to discover. And they have very, very nice teachings in this way. Okay, That's very interesting. Actually, you said a very uh, important point over there because we've been hearing a lot about 3D, 5D, 7D um, since about past uh, I think eight, nine years. And um, often when you talk about dimensions, we think they're different places in time. When actually I think they're just uh, just increased frequencies what we are looking at, right? Actually, the Pleiadian Collective hmm. recommends us not to use words like increase or decrease or okay. higher or lower. Okay. They say that it is a variety, a range of frequencies all over the universe. Mm -hmm. All these frequencies are uh, actually different mm -hmm. and they suggest us to discover them with curiosity, okay. to okay. enjoy them and not to label them as being higher or lower. Mm -hmm. So they always suggest that just to enjoy all kinds of frequency, to explore them and yeah. to be aware that at the ultimate level, they are actually just different. So they are okay. not higher or lower, just they are very different. So all these dimensions, and right now the earth perspective is changing from the 3D dimension to, from the 3D to the 5D. And mm -hmm. of course we're going to, to the 4D. Yeah. And all these dimensions actually, they just carry different frequencies. Okay. And also the Pleiadian Collective loves to tell us that to make us aware that actually by coming on the earth plane we don't lower our experience mm -hmm. this experience is a very powerful one okay. that we are here and we have taken these humanly bodies because we want to do so we want to have this experience we want to experience a lot of duality mm -hmm. because as they say by experiencing a lot of hate, for example, mm -hmm. on the other hand, you can experience a lot of love. So they say that there is no other place in the whole universe where you can really reach this amount, this intensity of emotions. Yeah. So I would say that it's a lovely place, that the 3D, it's really a lovely experience and we mm -hmm. should really appreciate it as it okay. is. Uh, before we uh, get into further questions, I, there is, I remember, I realized that there is one question that I forgot to ask you, which is that uh, you talk about Pleiadians. When you say Pleiadians, who actually are the Pleiadians? The Pleiadians, I would say that they are another species. Mm -hmm. I guess this would be the, the right answer. But also they function in different dimensions okay. and they have different physical bodies or different light bodies. Okay. So I would say that when we refer to the Pleiadians, because who, because us, the channelers, for us, the mm. channelers is very simple to put a label there and to yeah. say, I channel the Pleiadians. Yeah. But actually the Pleiadians, when we say the Pleiadians, we refer to a wide range of species, a wide okay. range of beings. 
Mm -hmm. And the ones who my channel, as I said before, they function in the nine dimension. Okay. They are a group of 26 light beings. Mm -hmm. They have decided long time ago to create this group, to create this collective. And when I say collective, I say that they function as a collective mind. Okay. So they can be also individuals. They can also function as individuals, but mainly they would function as a collective mind because they have very similar intentions. Mm -hmm. okay. And they have formed this group so they can guide the earth. They can guide, so they can guide human beings right okay. here, right now. Okay. Because the earth is going to a lot of change. There are mm. many energies that are coming now. There are many frequencies that have to be integrated. And actually, the earth is changing the timeline. Yeah. So we are moving from a certain timeline that we have created to another timeline that has very different frequencies. Mm -hmm. And they help the earth at this time. They help us as human beings to move from this timeline to another one. Okay. And this would be the nine dimension Pleiadian collective. Okay. But some of them, they're from the sixth dimension and they function on the planet Era, which mm -hmm. is related to Taigita okay. and it's also related to the Pleiades. And when I say it is related, I, said, I say this because it's not actually located in the Pleiades. And I know that many people, when they refer to the sixth dimension and to the Pleiadians, they refer to this space as being um, called Taigita. Yeah. But actually, from what I channel, I understand they, because they function in another dimension, their planet cannot be really pointed on, mm -hmm. our, on the sky, for example, on the map. Okay, okay. Okay. So they refer to the Pleiades because they say that this is the closest place from them. Mm -hmm. okay. In our reality, this would be the closest space, the closest place that we can refer to. Okay. But actually, because they function in a different dimension, we cannot really say exactly where they are because we cannot really see them. Yes. And this would be the sixth dimension. But there are other Pleiadians who function in the fifth dimension. And okay. this one, actually, they function on certain planets that we can see right now mm -hmm. from the Earth. Okay. And, of course, we don't really have a connection in this way. <laughs> we have only yeah. these synthetical connections. Yeah. But they have interacted a lot with the Earth plane. So the ones from the fifth and the sixth dimension are highly interacting with the Earth plane. Okay. And they do many things here. They come and they make the crop circles. Hmm. They do this along with the Arcturians as well. Hmm. They have a lot of interaction with some of our leaders. They guide them as far as they can, of course, okay. and they, as far as they're permitted, because we have our free will here. Hmm. So there are all sorts of things that, that happen right now on Earth. In, okay. in this way, related to the interaction with different species. So I would say that when we say Pleiadians, we are actually referring to all of these dimensions. We are referring to the Pleiadians who function in the 12th dimension, in the 9th dimension, and so, and so on. And I'm, okay. I'm just giving those as an example because those beings I channel right now. I'm okay. connected with the ones from the 12th dimension, with the ones from the 9th dimension, the 6th and the 7th. Mm. So I don't know more out of this, but I okay. guess it is, quite, it is quite a lot already. Okay, yeah. <laughs> now, what was the, when was the first time that you channeled the uh, channel Pleiadians? And how was, did you know that you were channeling? I would say that... I was already channeling for quite some time before, mm -hmm. probably for a few years, because okay. a close friend of mine died and okay. I suffered quite a lot and I couldn't accept his death. Mm -hmm. And somehow I tried to reach him. I felt that I had very vivid dreams and I used to talk with him in my dreams. Mm -hmm. So at one point, I told myself that no, I have to, to make this telepathic connection. It came very, actually very natural just to try to connect with him. It was not even from my own wish. It was more something that was coming true. 
So for a while, I tried to connect with him and it was exactly like I was remembering how to do it. But of course, the feeling was that I was actually learning how to do it. Mm. But in time, I have realized that I was actually remembering. And it happened that this telepathic connection between me and my friend became more and more powerful. And I started to hear him quite frequently and in a quite clear way. So he has started to guide me and to teach me different lessons. And after a while, I would say, and after a long time in meditation as well, it happened that I was going to a certain place in Romania, in the mountains, in Bucej mountains, and the place is called the Sphinx. Mm. And I was just going there, so I was following the path on the mountains, and suddenly the Pleiadians came in. And they were very clear from the beginning. They said exactly whom they are. They said exactly what they want from me. They said that we already have a contract, that I have already taken an assignment, that I will come here on earth. I will keep the connection with them and I'm going to channel and to share their messages and to implement as much of their work on earth. And they told me that this actually happens because one of my identities in the future, in what we would call the future, is the Pleiadian identity. So in the future, in what we would call the future, I am part of this group of 26 light beings. And because this certain timeline has been created, I can actually have access to my future identity. So this is how the connection was made and this is how I'm able to have this telepathic connection. So they just came in and they started to talk to me. And at the beginning, I could feel their vibration very different. So it was not similar with my friend Mm -hmm. um, vibration. It was not similar with any kind of ascended master that I have channeled Mm -hmm. before. It was a very soft and a very clear vibration. Mm. And because I don't know exactly how I channel, I just know that my brain seems to translate the vibration and to put it into words automatically. Mm -hmm. It just happened that I received the words and they were were very clear from the beginning. They said Mm -hmm. that we have to work together, that I took this assignment, that I'm going to receive the messages from them, that I'm going to be trained by them for a while And then I'm going to share these messages on earth with other people. And this is exactly what it happened. And I have to tell you that at the beginning, I was not so enthusiastic about it. Because I was, most of my time I spent in deep meditation. And at that point, I had no intention of channeling anything. I didn't even have the idea of channeling in my mind. And so they would just come in whenever I was in deep meditation, they would send me their messages. And then suddenly I have noticed that these messages that I was receiving actually changed myself a lot. So I was just paying attention to what I receive. And suddenly I started to feel different and I started to do things very different. And I have started to perceive the world in a very different way. Mm. And after a while, I just felt that I started to fuse with their mind more and more. So at one point I became more open to them. Mm -hmm. I could see that they have the same beautiful teachings as the ones that I have already have interacted with before on earth. So I opened my heart to them and I said, okay, if you want to guide me from now on, I'm open, I'm going to receive your guidance, I'm going to do whatever you tell me. Mm. And at one point, I even started to ask them to come in the body because there is no need for me, for my ego to be here anymore. Okay. And this is how this fusion happened. That I, I just started to feel that my mind was absorbed into their mind. Into the, okay. And at the beginning, mostly when I have started to write the messages, Mm -hmm. and this happened through automatic writing, one point they just told me, please sit in front of your computer right now Mm -hmm. and turn it on and please write what we are going to tell you. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And it happened at the beginning, I used to go in a very deep trance. So I was not really aware at all of what I was writing there. Mm. And I always had to read again. Mm. So I would be aware, aware of what I actually wrote. Okay. But in time, this process became more and more natural. Nowadays, when I write or when I channel in a direct way, I don't feel such a difference anymore. I feel very okay. natural. My temperature doesn't go high anymore. This okay. was one of the side effects of channeling. Oh, earlier, so the temperature used to spike, your body temperature? Yeah, my temperature used to go quite high, I would say, mm -hmm. even 38, 39 degrees. Celsius, mm -hmm. which is okay. not very normal for the body. Yeah. I also used to feel quite deshydratated. At the beginning, I used to have symptoms of um, feeling like vomiting. Mm -hmm. And so my, my body felt quite bad at the beginning. Okay. It was a period of time when my body adjusted itself to the new frequencies. Mm. And then I was told, of course, that this is going to happen for a while and then my body will adjust to, to all the new frequencies, that I have to adapt my diet and I have to adapt my sleeping and my meditation hours and everything. So I would adjust myself to all these new frequencies, which actually happened in time. Okay. And nowadays it is very simple. I don't have any kind of these symptoms and everything just happens in a very natural way okay so octavia can you can you channel whenever you want or is there a specific process you need to go through i can channel whenever i want oh okay so is so it whenever someone has a question whenever yeah. i i feel like asking them something yeah. most of the times they even come in directly even in the daytime when i'm doing different things okay. and they will they will give me certain advice or they will guide me. Mm -hmm. And also sometimes in the morning, if I don't feel like receiving this guidance from one reason or another, let's say I would like to be more connected with my spirit guide instead of being connected with the Pleiadian Collective, yeah. then I would ask them kindly not to come in because okay. I, I just want to be with myself or I just want yeah. to be in meditation or I just want to feel the connection with, with my main spirit guide. Okay. I, I know that when I spoke to you earlier and I had a session with you where, I, where you actually channeled the Pleiadians for me, it was a really beautiful experience. I keep talking about to a whole lot of people and I kept, that was the kind of an experience which I never had before and I really felt the energies come in uh, and surround me. I've not had that kind of an experience anywhere. I don't remember it at all. And uh, yesterday, again, they, I've been receiving the Pleiadian energies through Christina. So it's a very beautiful, I mean, I could feel the difference between the activations that I've done further. And I was wondering if you could um, channel the Pleiadians onto the show so that we can and ask them what they want to tell our viewers. Do you think that's possible? Yeah, sure, sure. They are always, they are always very glad when they are asked to come in and to share their messages. Okay. They always have very, very beautiful and very useful messages for us. Okay. So if you want to know something specifically, just tell me. And if yeah. you don't have a very specific question, I will just allow them to come in and, okay. and to share what they feel like sharing with us okay. today. What we'll do is, Octavia, why don't you just chat? Would you be able to just channel the Pleiadians and you yes. ask them what is the message they have for our community? So it will take me a few moments to connect with them. Yeah. And it happens very naturally. And whatever questions come in a spontaneous way, please just, just ask them. We greet you with so much love and joy, and we are delighted to be here with you. We are the Nine Dimensional Pleiadian Collective, a group of 26 light beings, a collective mind 
that has decided to unite and to guide the earth into integrating the new frequencies that come now on earth. We are delighted to be here today to offer you our support, to share with you our messages and mostly to observe the beautiful intentions that you have. We are happy to help you be more aware of what happens right now in your world, how you can influence that and how you can take back your power to create. And because we observe deeply the human beings and we feel this connection with all of you on your beautiful playground that, that it is called Earth, we are so willing to come on your playground more and more and to help you integrate the new frequencies that are sent to Earth right now. We love to be here and we love to teach you how to regain your power to create. We would say that at the moment, this is the most important message for humanity. We know and you ha we have noticed that you have forgotten about your inner ability to create. We tell you that we oftenly refer to the prime creator as being the life force that has created everything. We tell you today that this prime creator is actually you, is that identity, that dimension that lives within yourself, that you have always access to all of your abilities, to your full abilities to create and to bring into the world exactly what you wish for. We are here to support you, to help you to regain these abilities and to make you aware that you are the one who projects the reality. We would say, because we know that lots of you are very curious are very interested to know how they can manifest better. And we would say that it's of great importance right now on Earth to be aware how you bring into manifestation your intentions. Because we know that most of you, and mainly those who are interested in being connected with the Pleiadian Collective and with other species, are the ones who have very clear intentions for humanity. That's why we would love to share with you, to guide you, to help you on how you could implement better your intentions on earth. We observe also what happens right now with your entire society. And we tell you that at this time, many things change. We suggest you to embrace these changes, to allow the systems that are meant to drop off, to fall down, to allow them to fall down, to allow them to change, and to embrace these changes, even if you don't know what this change is going to bring to you. We tell you also that the events that are going on into your world right now, they are highly orchestrated from other species outside of your own planet. We tell you as well that this, this happens quite rarely because planet Earth is a field of free will, is a space of free will. It happens rarely for other species to interact in such a way with planet Earth. But at this time, because it's a very special time for the Earth and for the entire universe, it's a time when we reunite. It's a time with diff when different frequencies are being spread on your plane of existence. It's a time when the veils are dropped off so you can see better, so you can have access to a variety of information, 
So at this time, we would say that we are able to orchestrate different events in your society. And for this to happen, we have received before the agreement, the acceptance for us to come here to connect with you and to interact in this way with the earth plane. So we would say, we would suggest you to have a lot of trust in what happens right now on earth, because this is the only way for you to integrate these new vibrations, to allow them to change your perspectives. So you may change the way you function in your society. We want you to bring you closer and closer to functioning as a collective, to bring you closer to the concept of collective, of being a collective mind and having similar intentions for the earth plane. We inform you once again that all the major events in your society right now are highly orchestrated and we invite you to have lots of trust to allow yourself to flow with the change and to embrace this change because this is how human beings are going to adopt fresh, amazing, astonishing perspectives that match better the fifth dimension. We invite you to allow all this information to be fully integrated in your energy centers and to enjoy what this information will bring to you in the further days. We tell you as well, we inform you and we want to guide you further in how you can implement your intentions on earth. We know that there is a great need right now for you to learn better how to manifest what you wish for. We tell you that there is a very simple way to do so. And because of your human minds, you tend to complicate this process a lot. We would suggest you to always to choose a certain vibration, a clear vibration, what we call a pure vibration. And when we make this suggestion, we mainly refer to that vibration, which is highly related to one of your energy centers. And because love is your key on earth, and love is a very pure and clear vibration, we would suggest you to choose love. And mostly because we are the nine dimension Pleiadian collective, and we have chosen also to spread love, to work with love, to experience all the frequencies, all the variation of the frequencies which are related to love, we would suggest you to do the same thing. So we invite you to connect with the vibration of love, to choose this frequency and to bring it into your life, to set your intentions very clear every day when you wake up, to be aware of what you want to implement, of what you want to bring into your world. And just to keep your focus on your intentions, to allow them to be very clear, to allow them to unfold themselves in front of you, to allow yourself to write them down if you feel like, and to stay connected with the vibration of love. This is the simplest recipe that you can have on earth for actually manifesting all of your wishes. We tell you that by staying connected, by staying rooted in the frequency of love, and by setting any type of clear intention that is in perfect alignment with the vibration of love, this intention is going to manifest very fast. We invite you to do so, to be more aware of what you want to create, to be more aware of what you want to bring into existence and to know that you are the prime creators of your world. 
to be aware each and every moment that the power to create stays within yourself, that you have access to all of the dimensions right from within. And we invite you to access these dimensions through your intentions and to bring into existence exactly what you wish for. We tell you once more that this is the simplest recipe that you can have on earth to choose a vibration, a clear vibration. And we would always suggest to choose love to set a clear intention and to flow with it, to allow it to manifest, to allow it to take form into the world because this is how you actually create. What happens right now on your plane is that you have certain intentions, but these intentions are not clear. And besides the fact that your intentions are not clear at all, then most of the times they are mixed with a lot of doubts, a lot of confusion. It also happens that the emotions behind your intentions are very mixed. They do not come for a certain vibration. They do not come from a pure vibration. And what actually happens is that you cannot manifest in the way that you would wish to manifest that you have certain wishes and then your mind comes and tells you that those wishes cannot become true. And a lot of fear is being formed and a lot of anxiety comes there. And all these emotions form different vibrations that will not allow you to manifest what you wish for just because these vibrations are not going to be aligned naturally with your intentions. And if you understand this lesson, you understand actually how to manifest in the simplest, purest way possible. It is enough to keep your intention clear, to have enough trust, because trust comes from the vibration of love, and to allow that intention to take form, to become true, to bring it further into existence. And we are here to offer you this lesson. We are here to offer you all of this support so you can manifest what you wish for. Because time has come for human beings to take back their power to create, to take back their love, to open their hearts and to create out of love. And we tell you once again, that love is your key. And we know that sometimes you refer to love as a metaphor, but we tell you that love is not a metaphor, love is a vibration. And any type of vibration will allow you in a certain way to have access to a specific amount of information. For you to have access to any kind of information you wish for, you would need to open up your heart center, your heart chakra, and to have full access to the vibration of love. To do so, it is very simple. It is enough to be focused on your actions and through your actions to spread love into the world to show love to any kind of gesture through any kind of action that you take on earth, to feel compassion for human beings, to be kind with them, to listen carefully with your open hearts. And instead of trying to fix things for others, to open your heart and to hold space for them because this is what they need. They need you to open yourself. They need you to be rooted in the frequency of love because this is how you help them. This is how you share this vibration with them. And this is how you help them to heal. So we would say, that this is the simplest way for you to have access to any kind of information and to regain fully your power to create on earth. 
by showing love, by being kind, by feeling compassion, by keeping your mind empty. And we always encourage you to meditate, to look inside, because you project your reality from inside. Whatever you see in the outside world is just a mirror. And this mirror will show you exactly what you have projected. So we ask you not to fight with your own images because these images are just going to fight back and to reflect back what you're projecting. We invite you to see these images as your own projections to see the mirrors in front of you and to work with these mirrors because they are there to show you your internal reality. They are there to show you how you can work with yourself, how you can have access to your internal data by being aware of these mirrors, by paying attention to what they have to show to you. And we also tell you that this physical plane was formed for you to interact with these mirrors, to play this game with a lot of joy, to be aware each and every moment that you're actually playing a game, that nothing is really true, that it, all, it is all part of the big illusion, but these illusions should be, shall be received with a lot of gratitude, with a lot of joy, with a lot of bliss, because this is how we have decided to play on this beautiful playground. This is how we have decided to interact with one another. This is how we have decided to interact with the mirrors, to observe them, to play with them, because we actually know that we play with ourselves. And this is the beauty of the game. And many of you ask us, what is the purpose of the game? What is actually the purpose of this game on earth? Why have you chosen to take these humanly bodies and to interact, to have this 3D experience? Well, we would tell you that there is no purpose. There is actually no purpose in the whole process of creation. The only purpose that we could refer to would be to enjoy life fully, to celebrate life, to create more beauty and to enjoy this beauty, to experience because actually the earth plane was created as an experiment. So we would invite you to see all this as a game to take it as a child would take it, as a child would play on this playground with a lot of joy and curiosity and to stop looking for your purposes. You don't have any purpose here. The only, your only purpose is to enjoy life, to celebrate life because by doing so, you would have access to the highest frequencies possible. And you will take the journey through all of the dimensions. And you're going to experience all of these dimensions right from inside. So we would encourage you just to be, to celebrate life, to enjoy the beauty of it, and to stop looking for a certain goal, to be here, be now in the present moment and to allow all the ideas, all the concepts related to linear time to drop off. We are delighted to be here with you. We are always enjoying to offer you all of our suggestions and to observe how all these suggestions are being integrated so fast in all of your energy centers. We are always happy to observe this. We are always happy to see how you open your heart center and mostly how you are willing to share these new frequencies on earth 
because earth is shifting right now because earth changes the energy because earth is going to adopt a new a fresh perspective because earth is shifting from the 3d to the 5d and we love to be here and to support this shift this ascension process we want to tell you that we are always around you and next to you that you can call on us whenever you wish to that you can set the intention of seeing us of connecting with us and of interacting with other species with other alien species in the entire universe by setting these intentions you bring us and the ones who function in the other dimensions closer to earth you bring our spaceships here you bring us as beings on your earth plane just by keeping your intentions by dropping all kinds of fear and by inviting us truly right from your heart we want to tell you that we love you we love to take care of you we love to guide your steps on earth if there are any kind of questions that come now for us we are very willing to provide any kind of answers for you thank you very much you kind of answered all the questions that i had in my mind one one question that i would that i have is how do we open ourselves to love how do we connect with our heart more and more it's a lovely question thank you thank you so much for bringing this and we would say how we already said earlier that even if the human mind is looking for very complicated ways of doing so we would tell you that the simplest way is to stay connected with the loved ones to stay connected with your children with your families with your parents with all those who are around you to listen to them carefully to open your hearts to them and mostly to show love through your action not to forget that the earth plane is a physical plane and it has a lot to do with action so we would suggest if you want to discover love and you want to bring the love on the surface to stay really focused on your actions because your actions carry the love vibration on earth so we would say to set your intention daily of being connected with your heart therefore to relate any kind of action with the vibration of love to allow any kind of action to be formed with love to ask yourself what am i doing here and why why am i doing a certain thing is this thing coming out of love i really love to do it i really like to do it or am i doing something specifically just out of an obligation we suggest you to ask this question so you may find out so you may check each and every moment why are you doing certain things and every time when you interact with someone we will suggest you to be connected first with your heart chakra to be sure that whatever you're going to say whatever message you're going to send to the other person that message is going to come out of your heart we would also suggest you to set this intention for any kind of small gesture that you make for any kind of interaction that you have for any place where you go and mostly mostly when you find yourself in crowded places connect with your heart and share love spread love through your thoughts through your wishes with the people around you it is enough to do so it is enough to have beautiful thoughts 
to have beautiful wishes, prayers for all those around you. And you're going to spread love through these thoughts because these intentions are going to be highly related with the vibration of love. We encourage you to keep your focus mainly on all those who are highly related to you because there is no such thing as a coincidence. The ones who are your parents, the ones who are part of your family, your children, your neighbors, and so on, they are all there to help you to open your heart center more and more. So please take this opportunity. Take advantage of this. Do not focus your attention or anything on anything else, but keep your attention focused mainly on those who are related to you because those have chosen to come in this life to reincarnate on earth so they can interact with you in this way. We suggest you always to keep your attention on, on the loved ones and mostly to keep your attention on what you don't like, but not in the way of rejecting what you don't like, but in the way of bringing awareness, in the way of bringing into your focus that rejection, that aversion, for you to be able to observe it, for you to find out why was it formed, and for you to be able to transform it further. So we would say, we would suggest you not to be focused only on love, not to be focused only on light, not to be focused only on kindness and compassion, because this is how you're going to reject the opposite. We would tell you, be focused on everything. Observe everything with objectivity. Observe everything with neutrality. Step back, step into your witness role and observe everything from this witness point of view. So you may be aware of all the spectrum of the emotions. So you may be able to manifest exactly what you choose with awareness manifest into the world. We love you and we are always happy to connect with you. We are always delighted to guide you. We are always delighted to feel your vibration, to help you raise this vibration so you may enjoy life more and more. We love you. We love you. We love you. Thank you. That was wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you too. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I truly love their, their message. Yeah. Very clear in what they wanted to express. Yeah. I have to tell you that um, in the last months, they are very focused on, on guiding us on how to channel and also on how to keep the connection with them mm -hmm. so we can bring them more and more into, their, into, into our world. Okay. And also how to manifest our wishes. They yeah. say, as you have already listened, they said that it's so simple to manifest things, but yeah. as all of this spectrum of emotions, we don't really know how to do it. And we get, sometimes we get quite stuck into this process. Yeah. And they want us to teach, to teach us this, to teach us how to manifest more abundance in our life. Yeah. And they refer a lot to this abundance. Yeah. and how to manifest all sorts of things. So I think their, their lesson right now, and probably for a few more months, is going mm. to be on how to manifest on earth. Yes, I suppose so, yes. It was very clear, yes, connecting with the heart, and of course, choosing with awareness is what I love, love their message. So choose with awareness, experience all, and then choose. 
Yeah, yeah. They always they they always recommend us to to see everything like a child would see, mm. to be curious and to experience. And mm. sometimes they even give us this really beautiful example, and they say that. They ask us to think about children, how children play when they are small. Okay. And sometimes one child says, look, I'm going to take the role of the police guy. Mm. And the other kid says, look, I'm going to take the role of the thief because mm. this is what I want to be right now. Mm. And they tell us to think about this story and to realize that not all of us want to have these nice roles, these good roles, the kind roles. They say that it's normal because we have duality here to experience all roles, all possible roles. And they also say quite a lot that it's good for us actually to feel a lot of gratitude for all those people who experience what we call the very negative vibrations. Mm. Yeah. Because, because they do so, we don't have to experience that. Okay. And they say that this is great, actually, because we play different roles here and we don't recognize this role. So we get completely lost into the story and we say, oh, you're the mean one. So I'm going to fight with the mean one because I'm the good one. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is actually the, the beauty of the game. This is yeah. the beauty of the game. If we would know everything, if we would be what people call completely awakened, we, we mm. wouldn't enjoy this game yes suppose so <laughs> yeah okay thank you octavia i think and on that note we can uh, take leave. thank you very very much for sharing your presence sharing your knowledge sharing your uh Pleiadian being and for you viewers if this episode blew your mind you can contact octavia for more more opportunities to open it up further yeah, all her details will be posted in the comment box below and you can reach out to her for any kind of channeling that you need. If you need to connect with the Pleiadians, I think, Octavia, you would be willing to welcome the questions, right? For sure, for sure. I'm always delighted to, to do so. And I have to tell you that lately, because there is such a high request for individual sessions, I have decided mm -hmm. to create more online meetings so group meetings yeah. so more and more people can join because it's a bit sometimes it's a bit difficult i'm one person so i have started to create these large meetings where people can join all over the world and okay. they can have exactly the same experience just that they they are going to to be in a group okay so i i invite you to to do so and i'm always willing to to channel these messages for you all and i'm i'm so glad that i've been here today that we were able to connect <laughs> sheila yeah i'm very grateful for the questions that you have asked and for all the answers that were provided yeah thank you very much thank you mm -hmm.